Hello and welcome to the episode. Today we are off to Aubra. Hey. We haven't been there for a while, have we? No, we're going to get a coffee and have a little stroll along the beach. Oh, there's quite a few horses here. And we would love for you to join us as we waffle away on vlog 21. <laughs> Still indicating you, noob. Oh, so am I. <laughs> oh, where's that for funny? That is the pinnacle of you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You are a hypocrite. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that was harsh, wasn't it? Wow. That's not a nice word. I'm sorry. Nasty. I was busy <laughs> looking at the horses because I love horses. <laughs> so, what is going on in the world of Nick and Jody? I've done my first oil service and tappet adjustment, which I've done a video on, which was aired Wednesday. So check that out if you're thinking of doing your own oil maintenance and stuff. And this is the first proper ride since I've done it. So if the title is I broke down, <laughs> you the, video know why. Didn't, the video didn't go well. Don't follow it because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and the bike is running sweet. Started up first go. Um, normally when you change your oil, you hear that little rattle. But this didn't do it straight away. Instant. And the gearbox feels very silky smooth, and I can definitely tell a difference. Just have to rack your miles up there to 300. Yeah. yeah, that'll be done soon enough. And we'll do a video on yours, and I think you should do it. Uh, uh, I can be your uh, health and safety team. No, I reckon you should do it. Who agrees? You've got a comment below. <laughs> should Jody do her own maintenance and we video it? Oh man. If you think we should, thumbs up the video and comment. You want to see Joe doing her valves and oil change while I video her. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that took me a very long time to do that video, didn't it? It did. It did. I had some rendering issues because the software was playing up. Uh, two o'clock in the morning I finished that video. <laughs> and I was sound asleep. Dedication, that. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe how mild it is for October lovely i know well i was just going to ask you because obviously it's mild but it's a bit different when you're on a bike because you're going along yeah, and cold, it's a bit windy the cold but, the breeze yeah how are you doing with your hoodie not too bad to be honest with you because my blood pressure is sky high after last night <laughs> and i'm pumping with hot blood <laughs> <laughs> i've got my thermal top on which is doing the trick and i've got these gloves on that i bought in the summer thinking they were summer gloves and they're really not <laughs> so this is my first wear of them and my hands are sweating already <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and we've put your foggy garage roll bag on the back of your bike today haven't we yep because i really wanted that on there but that, that wasn't very fitting with the ktm theme was it no so that, that that's the reason why that stayed in the cupboard but well, now that's coming out yes not too sure on the placement of it because you've put it on the back but then afterwards we were like oh perhaps it might be better on the side so yeah by the time i put it on i was a bit sweaty and i thought now nah, so we leave it there for now yeah so we might try on the side it's quite a universal bag yeah it's from foggy garage and uh, funny enough they are sending us a couple of pairs of glo uh, gloves to review yeah, I'm looking forward to getting them because they're really lovely designs and the quality of that bag is so good. Yeah, they are quite a passionate company. They do make excellent quality stuff, such as the uh, Foggy Garage roll bag. So that's the reason why we agreed to work with them. Yeah. So stay tuned for those, the retro style gloves. I've gone for uh, black to match Darth Vader. Yes. And I've gone for yellow because yeah. I, I've always fancied like the vintage yellow gloves, you know. Yeah, like when you watch other vloggers and they've got like the yellow gloves on. I mean, because I do love yellow, but I'm, I'm staying on trend with Darth. We've got we've got to be twinning. Yeah. That's why I went for the roll bag as well. Another reason why I went for having that on here rather than the other bag I bought. And I've got a bit of colour. Yeah. I've got a bit of colour in my life, you know, so I'm a bit, you know, now I've got this scram, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd go with the yellow gloves. I wear enough colour, so, <laughs> like, as in, un not undergarments, oh my God, not underwear. I mean, like, T-shirts oh, yeah. and stuff. She wears yellow knickers. I don't. 
You don't. She wears Bridget Jones knickers. <laughs> Piss off. Sorry, but you are a mum now. <laughs> <laughs> Mind of a child, body of a mum. Oh, that's rude. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Irrelevant of kids or not. I am getting older, I want comfy knickers and I don't care. That is true, but when you do get to a certain age, you realise that comfort is so much... Comfort and function outweighs style, doesn't it? Absolutely. 100% for me. Yep. That's when you know you're getting old. I'm a jeans and jumper, jeans and t-shirt kind of gal. Yep, slippers, slippers dressing gown. Yeah, pyjamas. Definitely pyjamas. Oh, what's that little bit of log in the road? You couldn't have waited until we found a toilet, no? <laughs> no, I've already had my log out in session <laughs> this morning. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh. That oh. was a bit newbie of me, wasn't it? That was, wasn't oh, it? I was giving my thank you, sir. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I didn't do anything newbie, so it's all good. <laughs> I trod on a stone and my foot rolled out from beneath me. Oh, I've done that many times. Yep. <laughs> Oh, it does make me laugh when uh, Mario comments and said, uh, after the oil change, he's got to sell the bike. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now I've done the oil change, does it mean it's up to sell? Absolutely <laughs> not, because I've put my private registration on it. That is how confident I am that I'm going to keep this bike for a while. <laughs> Famous words, those. That is because he knows that I'll be on it. Oh, God, I was going to say something that sounded really wrong then otherwise he knows he'll be in big trouble basically what was you going to say now you can't <laughs> stop there now <laughs> i was going to say otherwise you know i'll be on his ass oh i don't mind that <laughs> 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 yeah that did make me laugh i think well i say i think definitely in my opinion if you did get another bike i'd still be keeping this because i just feel really comfortable on him to be fair Technically, it hasn't really been your fault that you've changed your bike so often. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the first one, we decided to get a van. Yeah. The second one, you just really didn't get on with. And the third one was just convenient for you. And now you've found true love. I have. And I do genuinely believe you will keep that because you keep things for a long time. Yeah, I do. Example, me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Salabella. <laughs> <laughs> um, like cars, you had cars for like seven years. Yeah, I just get really attached to them. I've never owned things that long. I've owned underwear that long. <laughs> yeah, stuff that's cheap to replace. He, <laughs> he keeps for ages. <laughs> the only thing I've owned that long is underwear. Not socks, because they wear out a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, like you saying about Queenie, my meteor, like the woman that meet a 350 bought, yeah meet your 350 the lady that came to buy that she tried to drop the price a little bit and i weren't having none of it and then she tried to drop it a little smidge and nick was like oh come on just like let her have it and she come see it twice i can't remember now you weren't even gonna knock a fiver off was you no i didn't want in in the end i was kind of like I really want to just tell him to go and we'd already bought the van so we had to sell the bike and Nick was like we, we've got to sell it because <laughs> <laughs> we I need, just, <laughs> need to have the money back. I just want to clarify I haven't forced you into anything. No. I, I? I did, you did want to do vans. I did want to do vans but then the reality of Queenie going I was just like oh my god yeah. what have I done? Yeah I can see it in your eyes you wanted to cry. I know. But now, uh, things happen for a reason, don't they? We've got a lot of experience from the van. I've built the double gate, and now you're, you've are you got Darth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I do feel... I mean, Queenie was a joy to ride, but Darth is definitely easier manoeuvre wise because it's upright and all that kind of thing. Yeah. So, it's all good. I reckon those bikers are trying to find posh pigs and they turn down the wrong one. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Loads of bikers out. Oh, there must be something going on there, but I'm not a fan of posh pigs. I mean, it is a nice place, but it takes ages to get your food. It's not far enough to, for us to go out on a ride. I was going to say much that. on our doorstep. Yeah. And the, from when I went last, the car park was gravel. 
I've never been. And I get gravel anxiety, so I haven't really bothered. I'm glad you get gra gravel anxiety because I get gravel anxiety, so I know that you are not going to choose it on purpose. Yes, um, I'd never do such things. But this is a noisy ass road, so we're going to cut back after this road and we'll catch you then. Yeah. Right, we are off the noisy, windy roads, heading towards Dunwich, which will lead us to Albra. The sun is trying to make an appearance. Oh, so the uh, live streams went really well, the reveals of our motorcycles, didn't they? Yeah, we had loads of audience participation. It was good fun, that was. Yeah, your one actually hit our record high. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hit me for the winnie. <laughs> we'll see what you did there. <laughs> but it's really nice to chat to the subscribers, isn't it? And yeah. Yeah, you're interact. a friendly, friendly bunch. Yeah, it's really good. But uh, do that more often. Yeah, and it's nice because you get to know like the familiar names and things. So you, it kind of feels like we know you. Yeah, and obviously you feel like you know us because you watch us. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for everyone that joined the live streams. Yeah, thanks. It was good. It's always that worry that it'd be like no one's watching live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that awkward moment. <laughs> yeah, but there was actually 20 people waiting before it even started, which yeah. I was quite chuffed with. Um, I haven't thought of a name yet. Still, I quite like the scrambled egg because the, the only fact that it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. But then I've got one to throw in the mix. What? Pamela Scrambler. Pamela Scrambler. <laughs> Oh, what, I'm going to call this Pamela? <laughs> Who calls a motorcycle Pam? <laughs> Someone Pam. that's got a scram. Pam 411. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I call it Pamela? Yeah. It's an old person's name though, isn't it? What? Mind you, the scram is old person, isn't it? Well, like back in the day, Pamela... Well, I mean, some people probably still really do like Pamela Anderson, but I mean, like back in her Baywatch days, you know. She's a Pam. Scram Pam. Oh yeah, I forgot about Pam Ranson. Oh my god, this is got to be Pam. <laughs> <laughs> it's even got the old boobs on the side here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pamela. I like it. <laughs> Just thought of a name there, babe. Well done. I know, that's why we were riding along when we weren't recording. I was like, I thought of a name to throw in there, but I'm not telling you until we record again. It rolls off the tongue with Darth Vader and Pamela, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> got a lady I've got a man and um, we were thinking that for any of you local viewers um, Moonraker do a, like a ride out sometime yes and um, we haven't joined one yet but we're planning on joining the next one whenever that is I don't don't think there's a date out there yet because yeah, um, so, Shane at Moonraker's organizers them. I've got a message Shane to, to let me know when he's doing that so actually they do announce it on their Facebook page as well so yeah, no. and then whatever that is. Yeah, and then if like any of you want to join, like it's a free for all. Anyone can join, but then that way, it's not. The yeah, it's not an organised thing. Yeah. Please don't have to get involved. Uh, Just you know. casual, you know. Yeah. And then you meet other bikers as well, as will we. So. Yep. And we're going to Chroma and get some fish and chips. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been on one. No. Oh. No. Yeah. Well, once I get the details, we'll announce that properly near the time. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Definitely. It doesn't matter if you ain't got Royal Enfield, anyone is welcome, as long as you're not on a push bike. Because <laughs> I hate cyclists. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> well, they'd probably arrive at a different time as well, so it would be out of sync with a cyclist. Only, only the lycra ones that get in my bloody way. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the other week I filled the tank up to the brim, put E10 in it, and I'd done 175 miles doing short journeys to and from work on the tank, which I think is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. And this time I've put E5 in it. For no intention, I just completely forgot what one I picked up, realized how expensive it was, and I thought, damn it, I'll put E5 in it, because that's more expensive. So it's interesting to see if E5 is better on um, fuel. Yeah. A better economy. So I'll keep you updated on that. I've reset the trip. I've got just ho over half a tank and I've done 104 miles. Ain't bad. I know, it's well good. I wonder if uh, 
E17 would be any better. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What did you say? I said E17. <laughs> E7? What? E17? Like oh, 90s diff. band. Oh, it's oh it's you bad, Wally. It's a bad joke. Very bad joke. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Well, I didn't even get the reference until oh. like a while after my brain well, was processing that bad joke well we know that I've got more music trivia knowledge after this morning we played a game with Alexa yeah. which was like the song quiz thing and yes. um, Nick fouled I won both games what I'm can not I very say good at quiz. I'm not very good at quizzes but did you see back there not that group of bikers but the lone biker that was a fellow scram Oh, no way. Yeah, yellow one. Oh. No, I'm the only scram in East Anglia. <laughs> Obviously not, because I'm ready to sell loads. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to make it my own. I do want to get an exhaust for it. Not too obnoxious, but something, you know, so you can hear the blah, 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 that sort of thing, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Well, I do think it's where it's at. You don't need these fast bikes anymore. I know I talk shit most of the time, but you got speed limits going down to 20 mile an hour. You can do 30 in this and it feels like you're doing bloody 60. Yeah. Not in a bad way, it's smooth as hell. It's just the way the engine just, the sounds that come from it, the way it feels when you twist the throttle. So yeah. this is where it's at, these small capacity engines. Yeah, Cheap definitely. fuel, cheap tax. And uh, sorry, Joe, I was rambling there talking over and all sorts, but I was just so passionate. I know, I was wanting to chime in and... Uh, Fuck me, that's a sharp bend, bruv. Bruv. <laughs> well, that's chatting away there. I don't even want to <laughs> fucking other side of the road, mate. Well, I went tight in, but because I didn't change gear in time, that's a prime example. That um, if I'd have been on the KTM 390, that would have not liked to go in the speed I was going in third. Yeah, so once you uh, get going a certain speed, no speed is fast enough. No, exactly that. But we have charm and character that lasts forever. Or at least an oil change according to Mario. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just sounds like a right beast. I love him. They do, didn't they? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say during, oh. during your ramble session. Yep. These types of bikes, in my opinion, are perfect for these kind of roads which are what we like riding so yep English countryside yeah love it you can go on the bigger roads and it's not struggling we are surrounded by the English countryside plus we prefer to talk to you lot chat ride go slow you're gonna go on fast roads you can't really hear each other it's windy yeah it's just nice to explore and plod along yeah, I'd much rather be plodding along on these roads, having a little chat, looking around at everything, than if you're on like a motorway or whatever. What is there to see? And you can't really look because you're going 70. It's just dangerous. You tell them, Jody, you tell them. Yeah, well, I mean, every, you know, you do you, but I mean, for me, this is what I enjoy about biking. But you do you. <laughs> you got small genitalia and you want to compensate, you do you. <laughs> if you're one of those alpha males, you do you. <laughs> oh, I can't sell for less than 600. I'll oh, get fracked. <laughs> get fracked. I hate those people. If they want to be like that, I don't give a shit. They don't want to be in my life. Oh, dear. <laughs> Rent over. Funny. How's your bum? Fine, why? No, on the seat. Seat's lovely. Love this seat. Yeah, I was just just checking in. I just thought of it, you know. Your yeah. your bum is in front of me, and it, it reminded me. Is it that noticeable? What your have what I, your bum? Yeah, I've no. got a large ass. Oh well, no, I'm I'm directly behind you, love. Is that why you mentioned it? No. I've got a large bum. I thought you were then going to ask me how my bum was. <laughs> oh yeah, as you're. You said you'll be on me. I thought of something else I wanted to mention. <laughs> my my number plate might be a little bit too small, but I am looking for another one. I will be buying one that's legal but smaller, which is still legal. But this one is a little bit illegal. Sorry. <laughs> might have snorted a little bit then. <laughs> sorry, oh, officer. I'm sorry. Just trying to talk their language. Joking. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Don't think we get camels in uh, Albra. Oh my god, fuck's sake. Nah, ain't national speed, isn't it? What? Oh, no, 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 what happened? Definitely cutting that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> what, you or my noise? Fucking me, you've been a dick. You are, aren't you? Don't chat. No way, did we do that at the same time? Yeah, uh, we did. <laughs> When you've been together so long, you make the same jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the sun has got his hat on. Only for a second, though, by the way. Yeah, no, I've only just put my bloody sun visor up. Enjoy it while we can. Oh. I don't know why I made the noise. <laughs> <laughs> you are so weird. Oh, you know like when sometimes you just get really thirsty all of a sudden, like something is stuck in your throat? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that going on. I normally do that when I answer a phone on a Monday morning. <laughs> Hello! No, Hello. Um, it just... You might... Jam sandwich please, Miss Patterson! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what I meant was like, it just feels like there's something blocking your throat, not like a... <laughs> not that kind of thing. That was a really weird noise. <laughs> Someone put that on the sandboard. <laughs> <laughs> Your best noise so far on camera is when you unfortunately dropped Mr. Grey and you went. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to insert that clip now. Yeah, 100%. What are you doing? <laughs> you alright? We were, yeah. <laughs> good we can laugh about these things what won't kill you makes you stronger inspired by kelly clarkson indeed <laughs> i'm just taking it as what they say about horse you've never properly you can't call yourself a horse ride until you fell off a horse exactly so a bike's between your legs that's my horse there you go yep yep <laughs> Instead of having one horses, you've got 24 horses. <laughs> a lot better than a real horse. Well, <laughs> I do love horses, so no no, no, di oh, no, disrespect, mate. Preaching to the wrong person there, aren't I? You are. One day I will you at least ain't. have... No, I was going to say Shetland Pony. They're so cute. They're so naughty. I love animals that are naughty. <laughs> That's why you married me. Because <laughs> you're an animal. I'm a animal. Right, let's have a look at the Albra, Albra seaside town. Well, I can't pull out yet because uh, I'm waiting for uh, them to go. Let me have a look, see if I can go. No. I'm going to pull over for you. And we'll resume when you've caught up with me. So even that, I did that so much more confidently than whatever I was on the last time I can't remember but I remember being a bit because it's downhill and then a turn I know I could just tell by your body language your voice your tone the way you ride it's just a much better fit for you yeah so happy right so the people that are not lucky enough to live in England this is all of our countries countryside <laughs> coast aligned town chocolate teapot oh mate chocolate sauce pot we do take it for granted but they are nice quaint little houses yeah shops aren't they oh well, we parked here before well i parked here before my nc yep and i was on the back awesome yeah <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a scout about, see if we find something to eat, and a coffee. And we will catch you in a bit. Hopefully we'll catch a, a picture or some sort of what we had. And we'll yeah. put it on the screen. So we'll see you then. Bye.
just to help. Oh, mate. Cinnamon swirl. Charged. You were? Show me it. <laughs> well, darling, that was absolutely splendid. It was, but we did wait a while. <laughs> a very long wait, but it was worth the wait. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got to do the obligatory throat clear after having such mayo, mayonnaise, and cheese, mustard, and sourdough. Sour Joe. Bollocks. What? Hmm? Why'd you say bollocks? That was a verb. Oh! <laughs> I thought you'd gone the wrong way or saying. If you ain't burping and saying bollocks, you ain't saying it right. You ain't doing it right. <laughs> you ain't burping right. It's just the the best word that goes with a burp. I don't speak when I burp. But mine are proper belches. <laughs> Yours normally catch you out, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't know that come. <laughs> I prep mine ready for a speech. <laughs> <laughs> you are weird. Indeed, that I am. Ooh la la! I see all the camper vans back there. Yeah. That could have been. That could have been. Could have been us. I'd much rather do this. Me too. Much rather. Leave the little shits at home. My main thing is, I don't want to be peeing and pooping in the same area I'm cooking and sleeping and yeah no you, you definitely don't want me pooing <laughs> in that area too <laughs> that is the thing that I didn't think about too much until it came to the crunch and we were gonna try it out and I uh, no I can't do it <laughs> can't do it I think if I had a poo in a porta porta toilet porta potty I'd have to throw it away I was going to say, that would write it off. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we sign out there, darling? Yes, I think we shall. That's been a lovely ride, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, as always. A second Royal Enfield calf run as a couple. <laughs> plenty of more there. Plenty of more. Plenty, plenty of more of them. <laughs> of them uh, coming. Yeah, plenty more autumnal ones as well, because this is our first autumnal one. Yeah, it is actually. Yes. So, until then, I've been Nick. I've been Joe. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe. Bye. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Remember I said, comment below if you think Joe should do her own service and valve check adjustments. I was hoping you'd bloody forget that. <laughs> Don't forget. Thumbs up. <laughs> this gets more likes. When we'll do it, it's happening. If that happens, you've got to read a book. There you go. Alright, I'll pick Mr. Men. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> you didn't specify what book. I will pick you a book of my choosing. Oh, damn it. Alright, deal. <laughs> <laughs> An old test, Joe. It'd be one I've read. <laughs> <Boy>! <laughs>